Hello everyone and welcome back to Orange Scrub. Today we're going to be going over how to use the Apid Rapid C Virus machine. I can't see the C word, but you guys get the drift. Now here we go. First off, we're going to have your sample. Secondly, when the machine prompts you to, go ahead and place the patient identifier here. We're going to place the MRN number. It could be a patient's birthday, the first last name, etc. I'm going to have to block this out due to HIPAA, of course. After which we follow the directions on the machine. Press the check mark, press the OK button, and then it tells you to open up the lid. So you gently open up the lid, and there's two ports right there. You're going to place the first one it says to place the base in there. You're going to want to firmly place it into the reciprocal. There's a two notches that go, it kind of looks like a puzzle. Then confirm that this is a C19 test. After then, go ahead and take out the package two. These two pieces come out, but you want to just use this blue piece for now. This contains the liquid for your sample. Then it's going to go ahead and warm up. It takes about three minutes to warm up. Make sure to follow the directions. It's really quite self-explanatory. All right, fast forward three minutes and now you have the blue sample port right here, which is fully warm for your sample the q-tip of course and it says to go ahead and remove the seal and mix the swab for 10 seconds so that's what I'm going to do right here be careful not to accidentally spill it when you're opening it or when you're swishing this thing around you're going to want to fully count 10 seconds and you want to make sure that the sample is fully incorporated into the fluid right here so that's why I'm stirring like this and as you see in the parentheses on the screen, there is a timer. So you have to make sure that you do the 10 second swab um, within that time limit. And afterwards, you're going to press the OK button. From then, it'll tell you to go ahead and press and transfer the cartridge. This right here, you click once and the little orange guy will pop up. And then you transfer the sample over to this base. From then, you're going to hit two clicks and from there the little orange guy in the middle will go down and that's when you know that you're good to go. It will then tell you to go ahead and close and you have about 10 minutes for the test to go ahead and run. If however there's something wrong with it it will tell you invalid otherwise it will come up like this which this is negative. Simply open it Take the base out, click it into the fluid chamber, and then go ahead and run the self-test to dispose accordingly. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.